so hello everyone welcome back to my channel and in this video we will see how to do the installation of listmonk what is listmonk it is a self hosted high performance mailing list and newsletter manager so yeah we will install it and we will do a docker installation because yes docker is great and it's containerized so yeah why not take the advantage of it so here it is our demo installation thing we are not going to do demo installation we are just straight forward uh, we'll jump into the production install okay you can head up to the list monk documentation it's a pretty forward straightforward process just search it up on google okay now the setup is recommended if you want quickly set up list monk in production of course we want that so what we'll do is we'll go to mkdir we'll do this command we'll copy this and paste it in the terminal so if you will see i am already in a server in my server and it's a data ocean droplet i have a video on it how to create a data ocean droplet uh, you can see it up here so let's create a folder now we have a folder we are already in the folder we created the folder and we are already in it and it's empty now what we need to do is we need to run this command what it will do it will fetch this i could have done both copy paste at once but yeah let's do it one by one docker is not installed so what we need to do is we need to install docker so i have a video on how to install docker okay it's a pretty straightforward process you can check that also and this is done now we will do this yes So docker installation is done. Let's check if our docker is running fine. We will run the hello world image. It's pulling it and yeah, it works. Now let's do that step again for our Ubuntu. Okay, I'll, I think it's already there. Yeah. So yeah, list monk is getting started. installation of list monk to be precise it has pulled all the databases network and setting up the volume list monk db container okay the container is up now it's running all the other images and it says this will wipe existing list monk tables so yeah we have we already are on a fresh installation and even if we are not in a fresh installation, I think like you might have done the database backup and everything and yeah, let's wipe it. Okay, so list monk is up and running at this site, but how will I access list monk? So this is the IP of my server. Let's see if it works here. No, it doesn't work here. So what is the port? Port is 9000 yeah so you open the port and here voila you are in now what is the default uh, login let's see what is the default login for it so this is the default list monk okay username and password is list monk it is the same let's try list monk and list monk it doesn't work let me see so let's do ls here and we'll do open the docker compose.yml and we'll see what is the password here so this is the postgres password and this is the postgres this is the db password okay and uh, yeah let's see okay 
this is the environment password maybe let's try this list monk okay so it was the password so you can find the password in docker compose.yml cool so yeah that's how you install list monk and then you can use it these are just the installation processes great okay so yeah that's all i hope you liked the video it was pretty straightforward and short so yeah keep subscribing subscribe to the channel keep watching the videos like the video and yeah see you in the next video till then keep learning